Alright hey YouTube, hey, it's Ben here again with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on James Dean and Audrey Hepburn uh, by Sleeping With Sirens. It's going to be the acoustic version. I've gotten a lot of requests for this. I've actually done it once before um, and it was taken down and I got a copyright strike which sucked. So, um, but it's okay because that one sucked and this one's better. Um, Alright, so the tuning is kind of weird but it sounds pretty cool so all together it sounds like... All right, so um, I don't know what the title of it is, but what it is is your low E string, which I'm gonna call your sixth string, is tuned down to a D. All right, and then your fifth string, which is your normally your A string, is still an A. All right, and then your fourth string is D. Your third string is G. But then your second string, which is normally a B, is tuned down a whole step to an A. And then your high E string is tuned down to a B. Or no, D. Sorry, D. Alright? Alright, um, so I'm going to be teaching the strumming pattern as well, as well as the chords. Um, this version sounds a little bit lower than the actual song but it is very similar and if you're singing along to it then most people won't notice a difference um it sounds good uh i'm also going to be te so the strumming patterns i'm going to give you a set strumming pattern and then you can adjust it to your skill level if you want to move around with it and like do whatever you want that's cool too um all right so let's get started it's not a hard song i'm not going to give you the chord names either i'm just going to tell you the positions and then i'll just call it like chord one or chord two or something and then you'll just know it by that all right so let's get started. All right, so it obviously starts with the intro. Um, the intro is pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, I label your fingers if you don't follow me. It's um, your first finger is your pointer, your fourth is your pinky, your thumb is your thumb, because we don't use our thumb. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you can either use your third and your fourth finger, which is these two, or you can use your, oh, let's see, is it like starch? Star um, you can use these two, your second and your third. It's up either one, but you're gonna put them on the the sixth string and the fifth string on the ninth fret. All right, so you can either have them up here or these two. All right, I prefer I prefer the second and the third finger. All right, and then you're gonna put your first finger on the seventh fret on the third string. All right, and you're gonna try to not hit the fourth string. You want to try to like mute that with your second finger, which isn't too hard. It kind of makes it easier. Um, or if you want to, you can actually put your fourth finger down onto that, and that sounds that sounds all right too. But it's a little hard to do it on the ninth fret, so I just kind of mute it, and it still sounds good. Um, but it's up to you. All right, so you do that. Um, the strumming pattern. All right, so it's down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. All right, and then there's a little thing in between. Every time you you rotate, you kind of just when you switch chords, you kind of do like a a quick down up. But I mean, that's more of a style thing, so you can do what you want there. So. Again, it's down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. All right, and then you slide down to, so yeah, you slide down to the, your your fingers are all staying on the same strings. You're just going to slide down to your second and your third are now on the fifth fret, and your first finger is now on the fourth fret. You're strumming all the strings. Make sure that the hot, the two high strings are important to play as well. All right, so it's up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. All right. So the beginning is down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. All right. So that's the first time. The second time, you do the same thing on this one. Once you get to here though, you're gonna kind of split the strumming pattern in half. So you're gonna do, start off the same. 
and then you're gonna slide up, same fingers on the same strings, except now your second and third are on the uh, seventh fret, and your first is now on the sixth fret. And then you end off on um, the same uh, shape that you started off on. All right, so all together, and you can play along with me. Also, I'm gonna be doing a cover um, in a separate video really close up so you can kind of see how I play it and you can play along as well and it's fun to do covers so all right that's the intro and then it goes into the first verse the first verse is all it adds one more chord in um, but other than that they're all the same chords um, so you start off strumming pattern gets insanely easy you just have to stay on beat um, it's hard to stay on beat with just a guitar so if you're listening to the song it's a lot easier so I'm gonna be doing it it might be a little off beat but um, you get the idea and you can play it with the song too but you're starting off same chord you started off on the entire song. So, and it's All right, so what that is? It's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. All right? Usually it's even numbers, so it's 8 and then I do a little down slide so that your first finger is now on the same, same strings. First finger is now on the sixth fret, and your second and third fingers are on the seventh fret, and you do an up. And that's just kind of like a transition, so it's. Down, up, up, down. Down, down. Down, up, up, down, down, down. So now you're on, um, your first finger's on the fourth fret, and your second and third fingers are on the yeah, fifth fret. And you're going down, 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 down. So that's four times. And then two times up here. Down, down. So see how it's, it's eight times up here, four times here, and then two times, two times. So the two times, the first two times are like that in between spot that we did. So your first finger is on the sixth fret, and your second and thirds are on the uh, seventh fret. And then you're gonna slide down. You're gonna lift up your first finger and keep your second and third fingers where they are, and you're gonna have them on the second fret. And that's how that that's like one measure, I guess. Technically, I don't know if that's what it's called, but. We're guitarists, we never use music theory. Like, actually, but whatever, okay, sorry. Um, okay, so that's gonna sound like. You're doing it twice. The second time you do it, you're going to end off on that first chord. And then you go into the chorus. Alright, so the chorus is really easy as well. Um, and it's now you have actually learned all the chords you're going to need to know. Like that's all the chords in the song. Um, Alright, so the chorus starts off um, with your f second and third finger on the sixth and fifth string on the second fret. Alright, and the strumming pattern is really easy as well. It's down, up, down, up, 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 down, and that's it. Down, up, down, up, 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 down. Down, up, down, up, 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 down. And in between, when you switch chords, you can do a little up, down, um, but the main thing is down, up, down, up, 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 down. All right, so it's. And then you go to your, then you put your first finger down on the third, third string 
fourth string. Sorry, fourth string. Um, no, third string. I was right. Sorry, third string. And then your second and third finger are still on the sixth and fifth strings on the fifth fret. All right? So it's... Go up to your first fingers on the seventh fret. Your second and third are on the ninth fret. Your first finger is on the sixth fret. And your second and third are on the seventh fret. Up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Now you can get into the song. Like, I actually, I think most people would prefer you to that really, like, make it your own. So, like... Like, do what you want with it. Um, but I'm giving you the bass strumming pattern as well. Just a, a place to start. Um, all right, so you play the chorus two times, and then there's like, I call it a thingy. Um, it's a very technical term. You put it for, in between the chorus and the verse, and it's called the thingy. Um, what little kids called their penises when they were young, a thingy. Okay, that was really weird. Um, <laughs> no, they called it a dingy, not a thingy. What? And you have to get it checked if it's a thingy. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so. I crack myself up. All right. So the thingy is um, you put your first finger on the seventh seventh fret. It's like the first string that you play in the intro, um, and it's the strumming pattern goes back to what the intro strumming pattern was. So it's down, up, down, up. Sorry, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. All right. So down, up, down. So then your first finger is on the fourth fret, and your second and third are on the fifth fret. And your first finger is now on the bleh, sixth fret, and your second and third finger are on the seventh fret. And then you go into the verse again. So the chorus with the thingy is... The second verse, same as the first verse. Second chorus, uh, it's five, so it's, yeah, it's uh, intro, verse, chorus, thingy, verse, chorus, thingy. All of those are exactly the same as like the first parts I taught you, okay? Um, and then it goes into a bridge. Um, the bridge is probably the easiest part of the song. And I like acoustics when they go like this, um, but you don't care. <laughs> So you're gonna have your second and third finger on the second fret, fifth and sixth, sixth string, all right? And it's gonna just do one strum. And then you're gonna slide up and you're keeping your second and third fingers where they are, but they're on the fifth fret now. And your first finger's on the fourth fret, um, just like all the other times we played. And then do open. It took me forever to get that open part, like to get what it was, but okay. Okay, so it's... Alright, so those three chords, you're actually going to play them eight times. So it's the... And you play that eight times. Um, and after that, it goes into the chorus chorus exactly the same as all the other choruses except you are going to be playing it four times instead of two um, and there's no thingy um, and then you end off on your second and third finger are on the second fret 
on the sixth and fifth strings. And that's that's the song. That was a really quick tutorial, in my opinion. I don't know about you. Um, so yeah, um, make sure to watch the cover if you want to play along with me, and um, check out my Facebook page or subscribe to my YouTube or whatever. I'm going to be making a Twitter eventually, maybe an Instagram, I don't know. Um, and I'm actually working on a website right now, so I'm working with that. I have to create a domain that costs like money. It's like, I don't have money. I mean, I have a job, but I buy other things. Like, But um, I want I want to get that domain up and everything. It's just, I got to get the money. It's like 12 bucks a month, which isn't that much, but I mean, I'm stretching myself thin, so whatever. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. If it didn't, let me know. Um, again, my channel, my Facebook page is all community, so post whatever you want as long as it's not like hate, hateful stuff. Um, constructive criticism is always uh, appreciated as well. So thank you guys for all of your support. And don't give up on guitar just because it might be hard at first. This song took me a while to get at first just because it's kind of a weird fingering. So it just takes practice, so don't give up. Um, take it one day at a time, just like life. Alright, so keep on practicing, keep on rocking, and keep on living.